Who you are looking at there is Hiroto Sakawa. He is the uh, CEO of Nissan. He has worked at that company for 40 years. He has worked with Carlos Ghosn for most of those 40 years. So they are business associates. This is a bit of a surreal press conference. They're not going into a whole lot of details. What they have told us is that there are three reasons why uh, he will be pushing for the removal of Carlos Ghosn as chairman of the Nissan uh, Corporation. And then effectively, it then brings in the question of whether or not he is the chairman of Nissan Renault in that alliance. First one, misrepresenting the company's financial uh, assets uh, to the Tokyo Stock Exchange, misuse of company's investment assets in relationship to those statements. So that looks like it's a, a reporting issue. And then finally, um, the basically, let's put it in layman's terms, misreporting uh, financial reports as far as personal compensation, expense reports, put it in layman's terms. But beyond that, they're not going into specifics. He did say that Carlos Ghosn, it is his understanding that he has been arrested, that he landed in Tokyo uh, this afternoon, Tokyo time, and that shortly after that, Japanese authorities then placed Mr. Ghosn under arrest, although we have not been able to confirm that independently. Uh, and then he went on to say that he's going to be pushing for the board of directors to meet on Thursday and remove Carlos Ghosn as chairman of the company. I, the part that's surreal here, Andrew, is that he talks about how he's bewildered at what has happened and that this is the result of the culture of one person being so influential and having so much influence on a company. He then railed at a great length on uh, what he called basically the cult of personality of one person. So it's hard to stra straighten out exactly what exactly they are saying about what happened with Carlos Ghosn, aside from a whistleblower saying that uh, he acted inappropriately in terms of personal misconduct with uh, company assets. Um, but there is certainly an element here, uh, Andrew, of uh, CEO Sakawa making it clear that he doesn't care for Carlos Ghosn. He wants him out as CEO or as chairman of this company. It's weird to hear stories about him being arrested and then having to wait a few days and convene the board to ask for him to be removed. Uh, I mean, that, that in itself may be a bit more of a culture right. issue. Right, right, right. And I don't know what the, what the structure is there, Becky, in terms of their corporate governance, whether or not there is a period of time that they have to wait 24, 48 hours, et cetera. Uh, and it still remains to be seen. We haven't heard either from the Japanese authorities, nor have we heard from Carlos Ghosn and Greg Kelly, who is also a board director, who is also at the uh, heart of this issue. In fact, Mr. Sakawa used the term several times, masterminds, the masterminds behind this. So um, that, these are all the details that we haven't heard about yet and we need to learn more about.